Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be talking about Georgiana Cavendish who was the Duchess of Devonshire. I will also show you how I got this makeup look which is inspired by Keira Knightley's portrayal of her in The Duchess. I really love Keira Knightley, I think she's a brilliant actress and so beautiful so I really wanted to copy her take on the look and in particular I've uh, decided to go for this look from the film and how I got this hairstyle which I've got going on at the moment and I love this I wish my hair was always this big I just dumped two wigs on my head and then just kind of covered it with my hair so still standing as well which I'm really surprised I'm really scared it's just going to topple off but it's actually quite comfortable so before I show you how I got this makeup look I'm going to talk a little bit about Georgiana's life so Georgiana was born on the 7th of June 1757 in Northamptonshire, England. Georgiana's family were extremely wealthy and it was arranged for her to marry into another wealthy family. She was 17 when she married 25 year old William Cavendish, the 5th Duke of Devonshire. She then became the Duchess of Devonshire. The Cavendish family were wealthy aristocrats and politically powerful. Georgiana's marriage was not a happy one. William didn't show her much attention or love and paid more attention to doing other things. Georgiana was also told that she was to raise his illegitimate child, Charlotte Williams. In 1782, Georgiana met Lady Elizabeth Foster who was the daughter of the Earl of Bristol. Lady Elizabeth had separated from her husband and Georgiana took pity on her and invited her to come and stay with her. Georgiana and Lady Foster were very close and there is speculation that their relationship was a sexual one. However, it wasn't long until the Duke, Georgiana's husband, and Lady Elizabeth became lovers and Lady Elizabeth moved in permanently. The Duke had two illegitimate children with Lady Elizabeth. Georgiana and the Duke had three children together, two girls, Georgiana Dorothy born in 1783 and Harriet Elizabeth born in 1785, and one son born in 1790 named William George Spencer who became the sixth Duke of Devonshire. William George Spencer became known as the Bachelor Duke as he never married and left no heirs. Under the social rules of the time, Georgiana was allowed to take a lover once she produced a male heir. So once her son was born, she started a romantic relationship with Charles Grey, who was a politician for the Whig Party. 1791, Georgiana fell pregnant with Charles Grey's child. This, however, was not seen as appropriate. So Georgiana went to France to have the child in secret. She had a daughter named Eliza, who was brought up by the Grey family. Georgiana became involved in the political activities of her husband and encouraged women to support the Whig Party. Georgiana also spent a lot of her life partying, drinking and gambling. She had a gambling problem through most of her life and when she died in 1806 at the age of 48 from an infected liver, she left the Duke with loads of gambling debts to repay, an equivalent of about 4 million today. The Duke apparently remarked, is that all? when he found out. Three years after Georgiana's death, the Duke married Lady Elizabeth. Georgiana's lover, Charles Grey, went on to become the Prime Minister and would also abolish slavery. And Georgiana's secret child, Eliza, who Georgiana visited in secret until her death, was not informed of her true parentage until after Georgiana died. Eliza named her first child, Georgiana. Now I'm going to show you I got this makeup look inspired by Georgiana Cavendish. My skin is already really pale at the moment, being in lockdown at the moment I haven't seen a lot of sun so I don't really want a heavy coverage for this look, I'm just going to use a BB cream and it's in Berry Light and it's from Rimmel London. I'm filling my brows in with my Brow Envy kit from Too Faced. Kira's brows are quite thick and natural looking in the film so I'm just really filling my brows in, not doing much to them. I'm now using my Naked Skin Shapeshifter palette from Urban Decay and I'm taking the light brown powder shade and I'm just taking this all over the top of my lids and I'm also going to run this along my lower lash line as well. I'm 
I'm then going to run a black eye pencil along my waterline. Kira's eye shape extends out longer than mine in the inner corner, so to try and get this similar eye shape, I'm taking some black eyeshadow and I'm just drawing a line out from my inner eyes. This really helps to make the eyes look a lot longer. I'm also just taking that shade I used on my lids and I'm blending that onto my brow bone. I'm also taking some black shadow and drawing a little line extending out from the ends of my eyes just so my eyes look a little less rounded at the ends. I'm now applying contour under my jaw just to try and get um, a bit more of Kira's face shape. You don't need to be as heavy as I am here. I'm just kind of applying it quite heavily really for picture purposes. Because this is the 18th century, Kira's wearing quite a lot of blush in the Duchess, so I'm applying my blush also quite heavily. I'm using Pink Cloud from Natural Collection, and I'm just blending this in with the contour I used on my um, cheekbone. I'm now just contouring my nose, and then to create the beauty spot Kira has in the film, I'm using a black eye pen and then enhancing it with a liquid eyeliner. In this scene Kira has a pink tone to her lips so I'm using my Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick from Maybelline in Lover which I think is a very similar colour to Kira's. And that completes this look inspired by Kira Knightley as the Duchess of Devonshire. Thank you very much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you want to see more from me and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.